Hi lads, what's going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video and another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the new foot birthday Ruben Aviso. Now this looks like a very interesting card. He's only been out an hour and 20 minutes and he's already down to 79,000 coins. I can see this card dropping to 50, maybe 55, 60,000 coins this week because I mean the market this year is very, very low and I think he looks like a little bit of an underrated card, maybe a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a hidden gem because he's obviously not hidden but I, I mean like in the sense underrated I don't think we'll be seeing so much people using him and if you actually have a look at the league of center backs you've got Alaba who you could debate Ruben Vizzo it looks better than um, David Alaba disregarding the passing and dribbling but I'll say Kunde is better and I'll probably say from this page only Kunde is better than him and that's his honorable mentions Kunde so this could possibly be the second best of the league of center back in the game and for only 79,000 coins you're getting a card that's six foot tall medium medium work rate is a little bit disappointing personally for a center back I want high I uh, preferably I want medium high work rates like medium high is perfect five star skill moves I mean as a center back sure maybe you'd rather five star weak foot but a hey, five star skill moves is fun it is fun you can go on a little bit of a run with them at the same time I wouldn't recommend it but <laughs> at the same time right it's just for bands but yeah, at least be honest, if you've got a center back, you're not going to be using skills nowhere near as much. Maybe if you're shielding the ball, maybe like a ball scoop, maybe, but I, d I don't even know. Um, as for pace, he's got 84 pace, which is reasonable, and as well, I like how his acceleration and sprint speed is kind of like, you know, in the middle, 82 and 85, it's not like 90 and 80. Um, so yeah, 84 pace, which slapped a shadow on him, which puts him up to 94 pace. Now, one thing I was looking at before, which I really like about this card, is the fact he's got 82 agility and 80 free balance for a center back six foot tall which isn't massive for a center back more than enough though um but 82 agility 83 balance is amazing for a center back agility and balance in my opinion is so underrated you've got flashback varan who's always going to be meta he's got 35 balance but i've actually heard people say he's very heavy on the turn his ai is so good that's what makes varan so good is his ai tackling now this card i actually like the agility and balance as a center back as i said it's underrated because when you get the ball if it's pretty pressure on you you can turn you can dribble and you can get it out I think this card paired with a center back that has a lot less agility and balance like Patrick Vieira on seven chemistry for example or even on six chemistry like pairing him up with a center back that doesn't have that agility and balance is going to be great because you've got a center back that can you know win the, win the ball etc then you've got a center back you can rely on when it does come to turning um so yeah some solid dribbling stats especially for a center back defensively with a shadow 98 interceptions 90 hitting 92 awareness 99 stand and 99 slide is it basically perfect physical 88 strength and 88 aggression is more than enough along with 93 jumping is nice and 81 stamina as a center back will do the job looks really really solid let me flick on over to the foot bin view for you lads real quick now overall man i think that it's just got to be a shadow on this guy it's it's the most logical thing chuck a shadow on him he's a 93 rated center back in game there you go 93 rated center back in game for price of 75k you won't you won't say no it's the end of a review Right, let's go boys, let's have a look at the team we will be facing. Okay. Okay. Not what you want to play at 8.30 in the morning, is it? At least you can look at it in the sense that it's going to be a massive test here against Ruben Vizzo versus some of the best players in the game already. Getting an interception through. That is exactly what you want to see. I mean, great start. Ruben Vizzo. See, jockeying with him with that agility and balance feels a lot better than jockeying with, you know, a, a center back with a lot more, or a lot less agility, sorry. So, that is always going to be very nice with him. The right trigger, left trigger jockeying, uh, trying to follow the ball is going to be so, so effective with him. Oh, we got lucky there. Did Ruben Vizzo get back to that? Maybe he got a touch to it? Either way, he put the pressure on uh, my opponent's Mbappe, and without Ruben Vizzo, it would probably be 1-0 down there. Con Ruben Vizzo versus Mbappe. Now, this is a test and a half here. See, okay, Mbappe wins it, which is fair enough. And he also beats Kafu. Kafu, there we go. But we do get the tackle in the end to Vieira. We're under pressure here, and I don't like it. Let's get that out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is so lucky. I, was, I, I think it was offside anyway. But we are lucky. We're currently 2-0 up through two goals through Neymar. But this is still a very sweaty game. My opponent putting on some immense pressure. Now, Ruben Vizzo, that's what I'm talking about. That agility and balance is very, very nice. Uh, you know, with a ball at your feet under pressure, you feel a lot more comfortable than you would with your Ruben Vizzo compared to someone like 
For example, my Patrick Vera on 6 chem. I feel so much more comfortable when my opponent's putting pressure on when I have control of a ball with that Ruben Vezo. And that, that's why it is a very under the radar stat. Agility and balance for a centre back. Now we could be hit on the count here, Ruben Vezo. Easily claims that. Once again, agility and balance coming into play via nice little turn, and, and we managed to get that out. To name my hat trick, my opponent is gone. We love that, boys. We love that. Yeah, we, we love that. What a performance. Ruben Vizzo getting involved quite a bit there as well. Um, it was a very good team. We got put to the test in Vizzo. I mean, it paid off, boys. Lovely, lovely performance. All in all, man, I, I was actually really impressed with this card. Um, now, I'm trying to play some more games, but I cannot find some matches. So what I am going to do is I'm going to continue. I'm going to play another two games with him off stream. Now, check my pinned comment down below. Um, now, as you can see, I'm going to search for a match. We'll give us one last search. This is my uh, fourth time searching for a match here, and I just can't find one. Um, but check my pinned comment down below, and I'll keep you guys updated in the next 40 minutes or 15 minutes when I do eventually find some more matches i'll try this card out for another few games so i've used them for one game so far we'll try them out for another three um or another two sorry so that makes it three games played with them but no so far man i mean we'll pop the pros in the con screen on the screen right now really really impressed with him pros we're gonna say uh i mean we'll start off with the chem style being a shadow pros we're gonna say five star skill moves 82 agility and 83 balance as a defender is exceptional we're gonna say his defending his 93 jumping and their 88 strength now the only con that i can say see you having with this card is a medium medium work rates as a defender you want to have high defensive work rates you, you just want to um and sadly he does not offer that as for links we have gone for a tour who gets gets a strong link to him um from goalkeeper to center back obviously then we've got morales morales i think is an exceptionally well priced card one of the best valued cards on the game you may be wondering how are you going to le link a striker to a center back are you stupid well basically mate Morales is centre mid, play in like a 4-4-2 or a 4-5-1, if you make him a centre mid he gets that strong link down to the centre back. All in all I think it's a really nice card and for the rating out of 10, I mean it seems really good value, I like the agility and balance that backs him up in some tight positions, um, I do think that the medium medium work rate is a little bit iffy, but nonetheless he, he had a good performance, I'm going to give him a 9.1 out of 10 from me man, um, I think he's one of the cards that he'll play to his stats, his stats are solid, he plays to his stats, he's got solid pace, obviously 94 pace of a shadow is absolutely exceptional um, but like the agility and balance is really really nice to have as a center back you feel very comfortable when you have a ball with him and people are putting pressure on and in high games of foot champs if you're winning 1-0 2-0 and your opponent is putting constant pressure on which most people in foot champs do use that constant pressure then Ruben Vezo is exactly the center back you want to have all in all man I think it's a well valued card remember to check my pinned comment by the time you're watching this it should I, I should have played the games unless you're watching it obviously within the first hour of it being out but if you guys enjoyed this review and i'll see you guys later